Welcome back, my wonderful, wonderful, wonderful children of God. My returning subscribers and those who are watching without subscriptions, you guys suck. Bozai, bozai, bozai. Those in the ministry, those are not in the ministry, may the Lord be with you all. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May whatever righteous you do, may it prosper. Amen. Welcome to Call for a Purpose. Please, if you haven't subscribed, remember it is free of charge. Go ahead, smack the red button, click the notification bell so whenever we upload, you'll be able to get notified. Welcome back, my amazing brothers and sisters. May the peace of the Lord be with you all. May the face of the Lord shine upon you. May whatever righteous you do, may it prosper. Amen. As I welcome every one of you, please, if you know that you haven't smacked the red button, just go ahead. On today, we are going to read through the Bible in the book of 3 John 2 and 3. And we're going to pray a prayer that we will no longer be walking like an elephant and harvesting like an ant. Devil do not like when the children of God are prospering. But the Bible made it to understand it clearly to you and I. And it is the will of God for you, for me to prosper, to be in good health, even as our soul prospering. Look at this ego. Ego is the first class of birds. Likewise, lions. They don't eat dead stuff. They don't eat anyhow. They target and they strike. And the same way God wants the children of God to be the best in everything, in every aspect of life. He said in the book of 3 John, verse 2, he said, Beloved, Christ has already loved you even before you were even born. He said, Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things. In all things, nothing is exception. Academically, financially, material, everything, social and otherwise. And be in health just as your soul prospers. It is the will of God for you and I to prosper. But the enemy is fighting day and night to keep us in abject poverty for us to labor like elephant and harvest like a like an ant today we are going to deal with that spirit he said for i rejoice greatly when brethren came and testifies of the truth that is in you just as you walk in the truth truth for you and i as a child of god is that god wants you to prosper god want me to prosper but why are we not prospering why is not the word of god fulfilling in you and in me is it because of our lack of wisdom is it because we don't know what to do or is it because that the believers are not showing the believers how to target the forehead of their Goliath or is it because we are lacking in the truth of the word of God or is it because we are children of God without the spiritual eyes and the spiritual understanding we are going to pray my father my God it is your will it is the will of my God for me to prosper for me to be in good health father today I declare and I declare that you spirit of poverty, you spirit of running inside like a blind horse, walking like elephant, but in harvest we see nothing. We look at our savings, we have nothing. We you are not even living, eating no more good meals because we can't afford it. My father, my God, it is not your will. You spirit of abject situation, you spirit of poverty, you spirit that is painting us black. Father God, is there anything that is lacking in us? He said, those who lack wisdom should ask. For I come, humble myself before the asking for the wisdom of the Lord. The wisdom on how to make money. The wisdom on how to be in good health. The wisdom on how to trade on things that will yield increase. Father, we are rejecting the spirit of labeling. And harvesting nothing. Everlasting God. Is it as a result of our faulty foundation? Is there any way that you have been dedicated? Father, any covenant that have made over our life. Every blood covenant. Every recorded covenant. Every spoken covenant. Every written covenant. Walking contrary. Every witchcraft activity. Every altar that have been raised against me and my generation. In authority in the word of God. I will stand them right now. I rebuke them with the rebuke of the Lord. I reject them. I renounce them. I denounce them. And I disassociate them. I dismantle them in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare the east, the west, the north, and the south open for me, oh God. Every territorial demon operating within my vicinity, within the vicinities of as many that we hear this. For I rebuke them right now and I command the doors to be open wide for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 
every spirit of disfavor, I take authority against you. We are others are going and testifying. When we go there, we are giving story. I reject it right now. Every covering cast, every evil veil, every satanic monitoring demon, monitoring gadget, monitoring mirror, in authority in the word of God, I command it to break into pieces in the name of Jesus. Amen. For that we shall testify. For that we shall testify. It is your will for us to be in good health. If you haven't given your life to Christ, this is an ample opportunity for you to do so. Because it is the will of God, my brothers and sisters, for you to prosper, for you to be in good health. Until I come your way next time, I remain your sister, Gloria. Thank you Bye. for watching.